Hello, I'm going to talk to you today about saving files to Google Drive so that you are more easily able to submit your homework. So as you know, we've been asking you to submit um, homework at the end uh, of your quizzes and we've been getting a lot of questions and a lot of confusion about how to do that. So I'm going to help you and walk you through that process. You're going to have to know how to do this in probably a lot of your other classes too, so this should be really useful. So we're going to talk about two different ways you can do this. First way is if, let's say you print your homework out, if you have access to a printer, how are you going to do that? Okay, so here's what I recommend. If you have a smartphone, which most of you do, the easiest way to do that is going to be downloading the Google Drive application. It's for iPhone and um, you can't see this, but it's free. It's Google Drive. Okay, download that. They have it for Android and um, Apple. Download Google Drive. Once you download Google Drive, connect it to, and this is key, your Conroe ISD Google Drive. So the one that you get when you have SSO. Okay, so I'm going to screen share so you can see a little bit of what I am talking about. Okay, so if you're going into the SSO, you're going to have all these apps, student apps. One of them is Google Drive. You need to make sure this is your Conroe ISD Google Drive that you are logged into. So when you are on your phone, it will send your pictures to the right place. So once you download Google Drive, when you open it up, make sure you connect it to your Conroe ISD email. You can look at that by um, that little top icon. It'll show you which one you're signed into. And here's me. I am not signed into my personal one. I'm signed into my Conroe ISD one. That's going to be very important. You need to be signed into your Conroe ISD Gmail. Okay. So once you do that, um, you are going to be able to use this to submit with Canvas quite e easily. So let me um, show y'all what I'm talking about. So let's say I, I have my homework here. I did my homework. I'm going to take a picture of it using my camera if that's the method, if you have a printer. Here we go. All right, taking a picture. There it is. Right, let's say I've taken a picture. Then once again, you're gonna go to your camera roll. You're gonna pick the photo that you just took. You're gonna go select. If you have an Android, I'm, I think it's a pretty similar process. And then you're gonna hit whatever you wanna use, then you're going to use that little upload icon. If you have an Android, it's pretty similar. Then you're going to pick Google Drive, right? That's why we downloaded it. Hit Google Drive and it will, once again, it will ask you to choose an account, especially if you have a personal Gmail. Do not upload it to your personal Gmail. Upload it to your Conroe ISD Gmail, okay? That way, it's there when you need it, you can go into the SSO and find whatever files you need by just hitting that Google Drive. That way they're accessible for when you're taking your quiz. Okay, so let's say I'm taking my quiz. I made a sample one so I could show you all. All right. So I'm gonna go to this little demo quiz. So let's say I've just taken a picture, I've uploaded it to my Google Drive. Um, and then maybe I wanna download it to my computer, right? I pick the pictures, let's just say, and I can download them. Then when I'm in my quizzes, you're gonna to get to those file upload questions. 
at the end, this is how you submit your homework through the quiz where it says choose file. If it's in your Google Drive, your Google Drive can either be connected to your computer like mine is. If yours isn't, you can download that. It's very easy. But if yours isn't, you can still get to that file if you just go to your drive. Let's just say this is what I wanted to submit, right? I could just download it, whatever it is, and then upload it, right? I could go to my downloads and upload it that way. So that is how you're going to do that if you are using, see, I have all my stuff, all my downloads. That's how I'm going to get it in here. There it is. Let's just say that's what I wanted. And see, now I've uploaded it. And I can submit it. Okay, let's say you don't have access to a printer. So I don't have something that I, I can print out. You can do the same thing. So let's say you're taking, you're in your Nearpod. Look at how nice Nearpod has like a nice little feature where you can take notes within the Nearpod. Okay, so let's say I'm taking my notes that way and I'm doing my homework that way. I don't have a printer. or Maybe I just don't want to use printers. That's okay. Within your Nearpod, let's just say you can type up your notes and then there's even a section that says save to Google Drive. It's right there, save to Google Drive. So I'm going to say yes, I do want to save it to my Google Drive. Make sure, once again, that it's connected to your Conroe ISD. I'm not going to pick my personal one. I'm going to pick the Conroe ISD one. Okay, I'm going to allow Nearpod to do that. And this way, you can pick a, select, a specific folder. I'm not going to today, but I'm going to just say my answers. Let's say I'm going to say number one, right? H. And then I can do my electron configuration. You haven't learned this yet. This is for later, but, but you get the idea. Number two, whatever, number three. Okay, and then it will automatically be saved. Okay, it's saved in my Google Drive. And that way I can go back when I need to, at the end, when I need to submit, same idea. I can choose a file Inside my Google Drive, I can either download it to my desktop or I can use Google File Stream. And I can find where I just saved that. So you have lots of different options. Um, you can do the same thing if you want to download the PDFs. You can use, if you have a PDF editor like Adobe, you can just open it through there. You really have a lot of options um, as far as that goes. Let's see. You have a lot, a lot of different options. So I hope that helps clear up some of the confusion. The key is to get your Google Drive going and make sure that your Google Drive is not connected to your personal Gmail. It has to be your Conroe ISD Google Drive through your SSO. Um, let me know if you have any more questions about how to do that. And I hope this helps. See you later.